I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore a set of lines. The question here is the following set of lines are we are given two lines one in vector form the other one in the symmetric form r equals to 1 2 minus 3 plus s times minus 1 minus 1 4 where the parameter s belongs to real numbers and x minus 3 divided by 5 equals to y minus 4 divided by 5 equals to z plus 11 divided by minus 20. We, we want to figure out if these set of lines are parallel, perpendicular, coincident or skew, right? So one of these. Parallel, as you know, are the lines which have same direction vector and they will never intersect. Perpendicular are the lines where the direction vectors are perpendicular to one another, their dot product will be zero. Coincident will be lines which have infinite number of points of intersection. So they are exactly same lines. Skew lines are lines which do not intersect, not because they are parallel, but because they are in parallel planes, right? So lines which are not parallel may not intersect since they are in this parallel planes. So those are called skew lines. So let us analyze the given equation. So best thing is to start with the direction vector itself. So we'll call this as our line one and this one as the line two, right? So in line one, what is the direction vector? Let me write down direction vector of line one as D1 which you can straight away read from here, which is minus one, minus one, four, right? How about the direction vector of line two? Now line two direction vector is five, five, minus 20. So we can write the direction vector two as five, five, minus 20. Now what do you observe? If I take five common, rather minus 5 common, then we get minus 1, minus 1, and 4, right? So that means uh, D2, the direction vector of the second line, is a scalar multiple of D1, right? So so that means they are parallel, right? So they have, they're at least parallel, we know. So they have same direction, right? So that means same direction. Now, if they have same direction, then we could conclude one of the two things. That is, they could be either parallel, right? So they could be either parallel or they could also be coincident, right? So it could be coincident. Okay. Now, how to show that they are coincident, not parallel? Okay. That is to say, that if they are coincident, they will have infinite points of intersection, right? And if they are parallel, they have zero points of intersection, right? That is the major difference. Now let's try for the coincidence. So we know that on D1, we do have a point. We'll call this as P1. So we'll say OP1, since it's a position vector, is 1, 2, minus 3, right? So these are x, y, z values. Now we need to check if this point can satisfy L2 equation, right? If it does, that means this point can lie on the second line. And that means the lines are coincident, correct? So that's the strategy. So what we will do here is the second line, which is our line two, is given as x minus three over five equals to y minus four over five. That is equals to z plus 11 over minus 20. So we'll just substitute the value for x, y, and z, right? So here we know x is equals to one, y equals to two, uh, we can write x1, y1, and z1 as equals to minus 3. 
So if I substitute these values, what do I get? Right? That's what we're trying to figure out. So if I write 1 here, I get 1 minus 3 divided by 5. And that is indeed equal to <coughs> minus 2 over 5. Correct? Okay. So we'll do the same thing for the second one. And then we'll see whether we get this line as same or not. If I substitute 2 here, I get 2 minus 4 over 5, which is minus 2 over 5. Is it okay? Perfect. In Z, if I substitute minus 3, I get minus 3 plus 11 over, this is 20. Right? 20, I wrote 2. Okay? So, it's minus 20. So, that gives us 8 over minus 20, and that is indeed equals to, uh, we could write this as minus 4 over 5, right? So do you notice something? So all of them actually are equal to minus, I mean minus 2 over 5, I'm sorry, this is, this is equals to, when you divide by 4, you get minus 2 over 5, correct? So what we notice here is that all of them are equal and this is indeed equal to minus 2 over 5, right? So that means the point can lie on both the lines, right? So that shows that the point OP1 lies on the line L2, right? L2. And therefore, therefore we conclude that the lines are coincident. So the option C is the correct option, right? So that is how we could show that this point lies on both the lines. You could also do it the other way, that is to say, once you substitute N1, you know what the ratio is, and then you can use that parameter and find. But this is simpler, right? I hope that really helps. Thank you, and all the best.